Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, as uh, they have everything you need to get your yard looking terrific this spring with mulch, topsoil and more. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 is the phone number for the best prices in town, omnitruevalue.com. And what a beautiful day it was for much of the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast, but there are two things going on. First off, if you look on the upper right, uh, this is a storm that has been just sitting out here for the last couple of days. The back edge of the clouds <clears throat> moving into much of northern and eastern New England, but there's a bit of a wall. Uh, you go, uh, say, just south and west of uh, Worcester to about Providence, and from there, south and west, it was a mostly sunny day. We saw temperatures that reached up into the upper 60s and even a couple of 70-degree highs achieved in uh, parts of North Jersey. We do have an upper air disturbance here that is moving southeastward. One of the upsides that we have with this blocking pattern, even though that low is stuck out to the east, it's not backing all the way westward. The blocking uh, is depends on where the blocks are located. And in this particular case, the low is not backing southwestward. Sometimes it happens where you see them drop down uh, to off the uh, mid-Atlantic coast, but that's not happening here. And as a result, we're seeing disturbances coming over the top in the Great Lakes, and this lead one here is weakening as it moves southeastward. So I think we're going to probably see some clouds out of this. And if you're in southern Pennsylvania, uh, maybe southern New Jersey, uh, up down, uh, down into northern Maryland, uh, overnight there might be a brief rain shower or two scattered around. I'm not expecting any kind of widespread event here. We're talking about minimal precipitation. And then the disturbance weakens. It moves to the southeast. And then we're going to wind up seeing a, another one, another disturbance here. The second one is right behind it. So you take a look right here uh, coming down uh, in that northerly flow. Uh, and again, the same thing is going to happen. This is for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. It'll move southeastward. It'll weaken. So other than that, we really are in a, in a good spot here uh, for the next couple of days anyway. If you take a look at the radar, uh, they're getting some rain in eastern New England from Cape Cod uh, back up to just east of Boston uh, into eastern New Hampshire, westernmost Maine. And then you can see a batch of heavier precip uh, moving into uh, East Ma Eastern Maine, back from Nova Scotia. Also, you're seeing these showers around the lower Great Lakes moving southeastward. Again, we expect most of those to weaken as they move into uh, Pennsylvania and point south and east. And also seeing some uh, rain and snow in parts of the northern Rockies here, back down through Nevada and into oh, a few places in the mountains in California, getting a little bit of snow there too. But now, for the most part, it's quiet. There's no severe weather. We have no major storms to deal with. Let's look at the severe weather risk coming up over the uh, over the next few days. First off, uh, as far as uh, today is concerned, we do have an area of slight risk up in parts of Minnesota with marginal risk down uh, into Nebraska. Uh, and uh, that is from system number two that's going to eventually just fall apart when it gets here tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Then for the next day, which is Tuesday into Wednesday, we have a slight risk in parts of eastern Kansas, marginal risk going all the way up to Iowa and all the way down into eastern Oklahoma, northwestern Arkansas. And on day three, uh, which is Wednesday into Thursday, uh, we're seeing slight risk in Arkansas, uh, into uh, central Miss and northern Mississippi, northern Louisiana, and northeast Texas with marginal risk heading all the way up uh, into southern Iowa. And this uh, severe weather is not going to translate uh, up our way. The weather system that's producing this is, because of the block, going to take forever to get uh, here into the eastern part of the United States. So for the next seven days, uh, we're looking at minimal uh, rainfall here. Again, the exceptions will be eastern New England with what's going on now. Much of what you see approaching uh, the mid-Atlantic states will come late this week and going into next weekend. 
and you see heavier precip being indicated and all of this is going to be thunderstorm driven of three or more inches in parts of uh, Mississippi, northeast Louisiana, down into southern Alabama, up to an inch or an inch and a half extending into parts of Georgia. Also some heavy precip up in the western lakes uh, and in the uh, eastern part of the northern plains. Uh, and uh, some of that is being produced by the weather that's going through there uh, today and also a little bit of action there in the Pacific Northwest. So looking at the European model this afternoon, there's the upper low that is sitting south of Nova Scotia. You got a big upper, big ridge here uh, that's built up into the Great Lakes. It's hard to see any kinks in the flow, but the weak disturbance, as we said, doesn't have a whole lot of support with that upper low out to the east. It all just generally weakens. And of course, by Thursday, we have a nice ridge here in the east. Here comes a wrapped up upper low into uh, northern uh, Missouri on Thursday. That lifts up to the lakes and eventually we'll probably see some of that energy moving eastward and increasing the chance for some showers at some point over the weekend. And then perhaps something stronger diving southeastward for next week, uh, assuming that the block is going to hold. Eventually, uh, I would think that uh, the blocking is going to rearrange itself so that instead of getting all this nice weather, uh, we might have uh, more in the way of precip to deal with. So here's the, the latest GFS view. I'm just going to run it backwards here. So tomorrow, uh, after whatever we have with morning clouds, you see that first disturbance there. There we go. And you see that first disturbance there, just little streaks of light shower activity o overnight. This is at 2 a.m. It's gone by morning. The low to the east, still keeping it dry here. The next disturbance for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, uh, seeing some scattered showers, and then those disappear. And now here comes the low to the west. There's a high in between. You got a low to the east, a low to the west. The high in between will hold us okay for Thursday and maybe into very early Friday. Uh, showers are going to have a tough time moving eastward. Uh, until that block to the e that upper low to the east gets out of the way. And then if the GFS is correct, and to a certain extent the European, we're seeing chances for showers increase uh, over the weekend, particularly on the GFS showing it for Sunday uh, into Monday. In the meantime, we've got some great weather ahead. Temperatures tomorrow should be a repeat performance of today. Uh, we're going to see highs uh, tomorrow. Generally, uh, mid to upper 60s, a few warm spots will be up close to 70. And then Wednesday, because of some early clouds, that might cut the temperatures back just a little bit with high temperatures mostly in the 60s. And we'll stay that way on Thursday. Ocean wind may start to play a little bit of uh, a game with the, some east and south facing shorelines on Thursday. And then more so as we get into Friday, especially if we're going to have clouds. You can see most of the temperatures here are generally in the mid 50s to around 60 degrees for Friday. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware. At 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town, omnitruevalue.com. And also, Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist meeting all your decorating needs, 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, 631-957-5106, the website there, liholidaylighting.com. we got the Joe and Joe Weather Show back tonight after... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days off. Hope everybody had a great Easter and we'll go through uh, everything that's going on weather-wise for this week and we'll take a look at the long range that's live on my YouTube channel, Joe Chaffee, at 7.30 Eastern Time.